I feel like Glossier is just like the thing, you know what I mean? It's just like everybody has seen it, they've tried a few things, but they want to know how it is, you know what I mean? Maybe you already know how it is, I don't know. Anyway, I like, I'm going to go ahead and give you a disclaimer. I actually really do like Glossier. I like a lot of the products. I feel like they are worth the money, and if that's like the kind of style that you're going for, that like very effortless, does she have on makeup, does she not kind of look, then I feel like it is a phenomenal brand for that but I also feel like there are a lot of alternatives to many other products so if you want to see those then I'll mention those in the video and if you want to shop if you want to shop any of these products I also have an affiliate link down below that'll save you 10% um, off your first order actually off any order it doesn't have to be your first order so if you want to shop anything that I talk about or get some of my favorite products make sure to click that link below because like I said you get that discount so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with like my absolute favorite products from Glossier and then we'll move on throughout them. So if you've ever watched my channel at all, you already know what I'm gonna talk about, you already know. You know. I adore, like absolutely adore their concealers. I have two, I have the shade light and the shade medium. Now, now they have a bunch of different options um, with like actual undertones and that whole kind of thing. But whenever I purchase these, if that tells you how old they are. Um, they literally just had light, medium, dark, and like extra dark and extra light and you know, all that kind of stuff. So these are the two shades. This one is light over here and this one's dark. I have hit pan on neither of them. I'm really close on the light shade, like really, really close. But um, I've had them forever and they're just wonderful. They give you like a light to medium coverage, but they look so beautiful under the eye. Um, they do crease a little bit, but if you you know, don't have any problems with under eye creasing, then you're not gonna have a problem with this. Um, I find that it does look better on younger skin just because, you know, usually we don't have under eye creases or maybe you do, I don't know. Um, but even if you do, I, don't, I feel like that it doesn't look bad. Like I've used this on my mom, I've used it on my aunt, I've used it on people that aren't 20 years old or younger and it looks phenomenal, phenomenal on their skin as well. The only thing I don't necessarily like this for is covering up like a pimple because it is more of that dewy, satin finish and so you don't want to draw like light to your pimples or to your texture or whatever so I don't like to cover it up with that but for the under eyes for using on your eyes for anything else covering up like acne scars I love it for that because it just looks really natural like it's very natural on the skin um like I said you're not going to get a whole lot of coverage out of this but what you do get is absolutely beautiful never found a concealer that looks better under under the eyes ever it will always be my number one and I will always purchase this, con this concealer. And if it ever is to like reformulate, I'm gonna actually purchase the entire company myself just to have this concealer. So the ones I'm talking about first, everything that I like is in, in like no particular order other than con the concealers, cause like, you know. Okay, so next up is the Glossier Future Dew, which is a oil serum hybrid from Glossier. Now, this is a newer product from Glossier, and I knew that as soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to pick that up because it's a very like trendy glass skin kind of thing, and I was like, that looks like something that I would love. So I actually waited a really long time to pick it up, and then whenever I did, I fell in love with it immediately. The only issue I have with it is that it does kind of peel up under my, or on top of makeup if I have a full face of makeup on, or I have, you know, blush or bronze or whatever, you know, up here on my cheekbones, if I put this on top, because it does have that oil in it, it kind of eats away at the makeup. And so it peels up or, you know, takes away the makeup that's underneath it. Other than that though, if I wear it alone, like I am today, I don't have any makeup on. If I just put it on the tops of my cheekbones or if I put it on my eyes even, let me see if I can do that and you guys can see. But it gives kind of like a very editorial, like just healthy skin, really pretty glossy look. And it's kind of like ridiculous, you know, it's like why, did, why are her eyelids like wet looking, but that's my vibe. Like I really like that. Um, I like using this in every place that you would use highlighter. It does stick around for a really long time. I don't find that it's sticky. I just think that it's like the absolute best formulation for a glass skin product that there is. It's phenomenal. It looks great on everybody. Even if you have oily skin, put this in the high points of your face. Chef's kiss. This next product kind of took me a little while to start loving it. It's the Glossier uh, Lash Slick Mascara. Why am I holding it like that? It looks like this. It's super cute, of course, you know, it has a Glossier packaging. Oh my gosh, it matches my nails. 
Glossier should hire me. Anyway, it kind of does remind me of my, you know, ever so loved L'Oreal Telescopic, but it is just a very, again, natural mascara. I love wearing this when I don't want to look like I have any makeup on, but I want a little bit of something on my lashes just to like give me kind of a wide eyed look um, or like just accentuate my eyes a little bit more. I think that this is phenomenal. I think that there are a lot of other options at the drugstore like the um, Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara or the, what's the other one called? Just Colossal, I think. Um, if, it, if it's a drier formula, it's gonna be really similar to this. I just like it because it is that dry formula. So it doesn't like, you don't have to use, you don't have to be really careful with it. You can just kind of throw it on, not even like need a mirror and then go out the door because you know that it's there and it looks fine, you know? And so that's the reason I really like this. But I also like the brush in it because it does do a little bit of separation, but it still keeps everything looking really natural. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. All right, so the next thing is like, I think probably their most popular product. It is the Glossier Boy Brow. Now, I really like this product, but I, have found an exact like straight up exact dupe for it and so it's really hard for me to justify spending the I think $16 um, on this product whenever I know that there's something else out there that's identical to it um, and that is the ColourPop what is this called ColourPop back ColourPop brow boss gel they even basically copied the exact same packaging and just did the opposite thing which is like the audacity you know um, but I will show you the brushes or the bristle, whatever the heck it's called, right beside one another, they're the exact same. The formula is the exact same. It comes in the exact same colors. I actually think that ColourPop may have um, a few more colors than Glossier offers. So do I think that Glossier um, Brow Boss, Brow Boss, Brow Boy, Boy Brow. Boy Brow is good? Yes, I do. Do I think that it's worth the money? No, I don't because you can get the same thing for like six bucks or something like that. Um, I've gone through a ton of these and I've gone through two of these. Um, so I'm really happy that I actually found that dupe, uh, actually just in Ulta one day. So I'll have this link down below as well as this, but I would definitely recommend getting the ColourPop one over the Glossier one, just so you save that coin. Okay, now let's move on to lip products. So the only actual lip product that I have as far as like the Generation G lipsticks go um, is the Generation G in the shade Zip. It is a like ready shade, it looks beautiful on the lips. It smells just like something from my childhood. I don't know what it smells like from my childhood, but every time I smell it, I'm like, what was that when I was a kid? It smelled just like that. Anyway, um, it's a beautiful shade. I love it. I love, I just love Glossier makeup in general because I feel like it's something that you throw on really quickly, looks really good, really polished, but you get out the door and, you know, go do whatever you want to do. Or if you want to wear it to the gym, you wear it to the gym and it's not just like, why did she show up with, you know, a full face of makeup and like false eyelashes on to go to the gym. That's your vibe, go for it. If it's not, gloss is the way to go. Sometimes I actually use this on my face and my cheeks and my eyes. So I don't really think you're supposed to do that, but I like that monochromatic look. I think it's really simple, really easy. Um, I love the formulation of these because it's, it's dry, as in like the formula itself is dry. It's not like a very liquidy, like satin, um, shiny kind of lipstick. It's like more of a matte formula, but it doesn't dry down on your lips. It doesn't ever feel, uh, excuse me, it doesn't ever feel like dry or cakey. Okay, next up we have the Glossier Lip Gloss. Um, this is just the one in the shade Clear Transparent. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of bought this just because I was like, I want the Glossier Lip Gloss because like I want to have that vibe, you know what I mean? Like, and, um, I don't think it's worth the money. Elf makes one that's literally identical to it. There is a girl here on YouTube who made a video talking about like, she tried every single clear lip gloss that she could find. And she was like, I'm gonna pick the best one. And she ended up picking that Elf was the best one um, over the Glossier one. And I think it's like one or $2, one or one to $3 range, um, rather than whatever this is, which I'm pretty sure it's like 16 to 18, maybe more, I don't know. Um, but I mean like, it's the packaging, you know what I mean? Like just, you know. So I don't feel like that's worth the money. Now, I also have two of the Glossier Balm.coms. The, I have the Cherry Balm and the Birthday Cake Balm. I normally hate cherry scented, cherry flavored, cherry anything. I just think cherry's disgusting and like the worst flavor. But I wanted one that was red because again, like I really like that just like red look. You know what I mean? Very Parisian. I wanna, yeah, very Parisian. And then I got the Birthday Balm.com because I figured it would smell really good. You know, like I actually, I don't even know why I bought this. It does smell phenomenal. I mean, like it smells absolutely wonderful. 
but um, I think they're fine. Do I think that they're worth the $12? If you want to spend it, if you got the extra giant lying in your pocket, you know. Um, but I would never just be like, oh my gosh, that's the best lip product I've ever used. I think the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, I think that the, the, the um, Bath & Body Works, their lip sleeping masks, their overnight like treatment, whatever it's called, are phenomenal. I think Aquaphor, great. Any oil base, that Neutrogena Lip Oil I talk about all the time, great. Do I think that these are fun? Yes. Do I think they smell good and they taste good and they look cute on the lips? Yes, I do. But I don't necessarily think it's like worth the $12 um, if you're just wanting something to like hydrate your lips. If you're wanting something to be cute, that's fine. I like them, you know. Um, I don't like putting things on with my finger, um, like lip balms and that kind of thing, just because they're so thick and like difficult to get off. So I like to just actually use the tube that it comes in and that's kind of why mine's messy is because I will just squeeze a little bit out and put it all over my lips like that. Um, but I do like these two. So I like the cherry and I like the birthday as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this like out of the way quick because I just, you know. There are a lot of mixed feelings on the Glossier um, Perfecting Skin Tint. A lot of people are like, what is the point of it? I am also with those people somewhat. So I understand like it's a skin tint, like you get a little bit of a tint and you no know, coverage and it just like looks really nice. But for the price and for like what it actually is and what it does to your skin, I don't I don't feel like it's worth it. Um, I would much rather just take my Drunk Elephant de bronzy drops I use all the time, mix that with my moisturizer and apply that to my skin. Cause even that gives me a little bit more tint than this does. Um, it's fine, like I said, like I don't have any problems with this. It does have hydrogenated castor oil in it, which I'm like not that big of a fan of um, for skin, but I don't think it's bad. And also this is the shade dark. So I know that they've come out with some more shades since I purchased this, but at the same time, like this was the shade dark and I am a white girl, especially my face. My face is very white. My body, you know, it's tan. Um, but I just don't understand this product that much. I just feel like it could have been formulated a little bit better. It could have had a little bit more of a, you know, pack a punch, like a BB cream kind of thing. But this literally like just goes on the skin and you're kind of like, okay, but where'd it go? Next two items I have are the Glossier Cloud Paints. I have one in the shade Beam and one in the shade Storm. Um, Storm is my most recent purchase because I just loved the way that that shade look, looked online. I thought that it would like look and mimic a little bit like a sunburn. Um, so that's the reason I picked it up. I really like these. I think that they blend out really well. I think they're really pretty colors. They last for a really long time. I've had this one as long as I've had those concealers. And I mean like, I don't use it every day by any means, clearly, but I use it a good amount and I've used this one a good amount as well. And I still have a lot of them left. I think that they're really good. And I also love Glossier makeup for travel because it's so simple, it's so easy. You just throw it in there and you know, it's really small and um, I just like it. I like the way that it looks and I like like the whole aesthetic. Something I don't like and I'm very sad about is um, the Glossier Lid Star. I have mine in the shade Lily. I picked this up because I have very green hazily eyes and I thought that this was gonna like look bomb and kind of give me that like euphoria vibe kind of like look um, but it didn't. It actually just blended away. I tried to use it in multiple different videos um, and it just like I said, it blended away and didn't look very good on my eyes. I know that a lot of people have said that they have that issue with these. I wanted to pick up the shade Cub and also the shade Fawn, which is kind of cute because like my middle name's Fawn and like Caleb used to be called Cub in high school. He hated that. He really did. But like, nevertheless, that was his name, you know? Um, so that's kind of cute. But anyway, uh, I'm just not a fan. I don't think that it's like worth the money. I think these are like $18 or something like that. So I don't feel like it's worth the money to get something that just blends away. But again, like the Glossier packaging, they killed it. Okay, the next two things I have are skincare items. This is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer Buildable Hydrating Cream. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys that I have not used these things enough to give you a full review. So if you want a full review on these items, this and the, this moisturizer and these two um, masks from Glossier. This is the Moisturizing Moon Mask and this is the Mega Greens Galaxy Pack Moisturize, no, Detoxifying Face Mask. Um, I'm not going to be able to give you like a full review on those just because I haven't used them enough to know exactly how they're made and how they, or how they work on the skin. So next, like I said, we have these two masks. We have the Mega Greens Galaxy Pack Mask, the Detox Mask, and we have the Moisturizing Moon Mask. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, the reason that I purchased those two is because Matilda here on YouTube 
actually posted a video and she was talking about some face masks that she loves and she mentioned both of those. The only one I've used is the moisturizing mask, the moisturizing moon mask, and I really liked it. Um, but again, same thing with the moisturizer. My skin's just been going through so much and like I've had so many hormonal breakouts and it's just been so sensitive and finicky that I haven't actually got to put those to the test. Um, so I'm actually going back on Accutane uh, at the in next month. So November 20th is the day that I go for my next appointment and I'll be like in the system and stuff. Um, so once I'm on that and my skin's not so sensitive and it's not so finicky and all that kind of stuff, then I will definitely be using this and be able to give you more of a full review because nothing will break me out when I'm on that. Um, so yes, I love Glossier as a brand. I think they're a wonderful brand. I think they have so much to offer. I love the aesthetic. I love how everything just goes together. They really offer a full line of products that can just all work together really nicely and look very cohesive on the face, very monochromatic, very pretty. Um, I like their, what they stand for. I like what they've done in the past as far as like giving to charities and stuff like that. Um, I just really like the brand overall. I do. I think that they're a really good brand. I think that most of it is worth the money. What I didn't think was worth the money. Obviously, I told you guys. All right, guys. So, that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's review. I know it was speedy, but I like watching speedy reviews. So, that's kind of why I made it so fast. Um, but if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell before you leave. So, that you'll be notified every time I post something new. Also, some exciting news. I used to have a blog called katiefond.com. Um, I still do now. I gave it a whole, I gave it a facelift basically. And so it's going to be linked down below as well. I have all kinds of different stuff that you can shop. Um, I actually have a boutique on there where you can shop all my favorites from all kinds of different stores. Right now I have up fall sweaters. I have affordable home decor, affordable fall sweaters, fall shoes, fall, my favorite fall lipsticks, all that kind of stuff. Everything fall all, it will all be linked down below. Also, like I said, I have that Glossier, um, affiliate link so if you guys want to get 10 percent off your order make sure to use it so you can get it i do earn a small commission but it's very very small um also be nice to support me you know what i mean uh so anyway yeah other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a lovely day